All pressure, lean, lean it back. After starting engine, I did that. Radio transponders to stand by, all of those are good. Continue, that is not correct, it is full. So I'm gonna put 50, 53. Radio set to standby, that's in standby. I'm gonna go back to BR. And then continue. 121.1. Need -1. tower. We open up the flight plan, so we're gonna be using this one. Hey, we're gonna use what frequency for open the flight plan? We're gonna be using uh, 122.4. Oh, okay. One two two point four for that. Uh, vacuum did that. Flaps retract. Avalites as required. I will turn on the strobe. Radio call as required. Okay, com. Com one. Edwards Tower. Com one. Base traffic, arrow four, taxing to runway two, runway two four for a uh, couple of uh, touch, and goes. touch and goes. So I'll just very little wind. Yep. Okay, so we don't have an altimeter setting, do we? Oh. 3060. 3060 is that. There you go. Temperature is do it on here. Three. Yeah, once, once, I, once I see that the volts are at 28 or 27.9, whatever, I, I know that the alternator is working. So, I can, I, when, especially when I travel, I keep it on the temperature. So now I can see whether it's at the freezing level. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's, what's next? What's next was, did all that, pre-taxi, starting engine, after starting engine, taxi clear area, brakes check, flight control set for wind, there's very little wind, flight instruments set and check, they're good for now. Let's go ahead and taxi then. Then navigation instruments. Okay, I'm going to open up the uh, heat to try to get the windshield blown okay. up on the inside. Clear left, he's over there. Brake check. Brake check. Both of them. Okay, have we had airport operations yet? Um, yes, the signs and the, the okay. holding short BFR and ILS and... Okay. And so what color are the center line lights of the taxiway? Center line on the taxiway are green. And on the edge lights? Edge lights are blue. What happens, is this... Okay, let's talk about a movement and non-movement area. Okay. okay. Okay, so a movement area is the area that the tower controls, right? It's yes. The area that uh, non-movement, although it sounds like you need control because it's not non-movement, right? Yeah. But it's just the opposite. It is a mo an area that is that is uh, not the movement area. That is kind of like a backwards, uh, a double negative. Oh. Okay. So basically, we're in a movement area right now. Yes. Okay. So we would need permission. Normally, we'd need permission if, it, if there was a tower. Okay, so we're in a movement area and uh, we're going along the taxiway and we encounter a single uh, yellow broken line across the uh, runway, across the taxiway. Okay. Uh, what would that mean? Is that the taxiway hold short? That's hold short if instructed. If instructed. Uh, that's right. So it would be like hold short of, of a taxiway alpha. Then you would stop before that line. Normally that line is there and uh, the standard holding, if it's not marked, is before the curve starts, right? Okay. I always start way back. If they say hold, I hold like back here someplace, right? Give it lots of room. You know, why not? Right? That's not what I want. Oh. 
Morgans. Okay, there you go. You default nav. That's exactly right. Trying to get there. Doesn't want to click. It doesn't. Well, that little turkey. Take a look and see. I'm uh, able to see utilities. Yeah, nothing's working on this thing. Go back to home. Okay. Oh. There. The lake is frozen. Okay, you want to go do some ice skating? Yeah. <laughs> the three inches of water. If it gets uh, any more rain, we can get a seaplane rating out here. Ooh. Back to a thousand. Yep. Taxiing engine run up. Parking right, brake. I will. I will hold it. Seat back, falls upright. Seat belt, shoulder harnesses are secure. Fuel selector is still on both. Throttle friction lock is fine. Navigation instruments set. Um, navigation instruments are good for now. We're not going to be using them as much. Autopilot. Autopilot transponder, EDF radios, and all of that. Turn it on, and it should go to the left. Heading. And it goes left, and switch it to the right. Autopilot goes to the right, and I can overpower it. EDF radio one, I said all of that already. Audio panel, audio's good. Flight instruments. Oh, okay, just you make it make the sequence. You can either follow the uh, the thing on there, or you can go sequence. Yeah. Uh, airspeed zero. Uh, little arrows are lining up. You've got the altimeter setting in there already. We're not using this or this. Not up, not down. Now that's the next one. Okay. Yeah, all those are good. And then was it at that 21 inch? Uh, 21. Like uh, two 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 hundred two thousand two hundred rather. Oh, the other side. Oh, right there. It's just the opposite. Yeah. This is on the right side, and then, then the uh, because you're looking at the front side on this, right? That would be down, looking up this way, right? Yeah. But you were actually reading from the back side, so that's why we got opposite sensing. Opposite sensing. All temperatures not quite above 75 yet. Oh, a little bit. Oil pressure still in the green. Uh, mixture set. Uh, keep it right there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. We're not going anywhere, so. Uh, throttle to 1800 RPM, holding the brakes. Okay. Eighteen hundred. Magnetos check. Check for mag drop. Go on the left. Fifty. Fifth out fifty. Going back up. It recovered. Go on the right. About, about 75 going back up and it recovers engine engine instruments and meter and mirrors good vacuum is in the in the green all the uh, and all the all those are out all those are out let's check this 27.9 pressure is good vacuum still green nice pale and eliminated and throttle back to a thousand Throw back to a thousand. Doors and windows are closed. Mine's locked. Yours is locked. My doors are locked. Parking brake release. I'm holding it. Normal takeoff to Nake. Lift nose wheel at 55. Look at this thing. Yep. Yeah, it's like. Might be cold. I don't know. Might need to wipe it a bit too. Might be okay. Strobe's on, not bad.
Okay, so we're going to use the non-powered airport procedure. So okay. you, you announce uh, every turn, right? Yep. So you're going to be cross, downwind, base, and final. Riverside radio, one, two, two, four. Okay. It's in there. And then... Number one. Hmm? Number two, rather. Yep. Comp two. Okay, let's turn out that Ooh. one. Riverside Radio, November 104, Echo Delta, listening 122.4, Grand Mountain, would like to open up my... Oh, no, you got to let them come oh. back. Forget it. November 104, Echo Delta, Riverside Radio, go ahead. I would like to open up my flight plan uh, out of Edwards, November 104, Echo Delta. November 4, Echo Delta, that flight plan is activated for you. So I've met down for turbulence. The low level wind shear, uh, wind shear further to the south. Details all upon request. I love weather reports request. Kidding. Have a good day, for Delta. Okay, we're all set. All set for that. I'm gonna go back to okay, that. And, and, and that's then. the CTAF, it's 120.7. Yep. Then okay. lights, camera action, lights there you go. good, strobe. Uh, you wanna leave the landing and taxi? Yeah, leave the landing and taxi lights off. Leaving those off. Then out, 16. Oh, for because it's a high, uh, high uh, altimeter setting, so that's good. And then action, click, and then click, one. Perfect. Okay, one. Address traffic arrow four taking on my two four, staying in the pattern. Okay, now when you come up, I want you to go on the center line, on the white center line and come to a stop. Okay. Okay, so it's 246, sometimes it's 245, okay? Yep. So it's 245, so we gotta add five or six degrees onto the heading on both ways. So downwind is gonna be six plus five more, right? Even though it says two, four, they, we only got 10 degrees, right? So if it's kind of like uh, 24, 25, 26 degrees, right? Or two, it hit, you can't do uh, uh, two, four, you know, point six. Yeah, right? so, Yeah. So you got 10 degree increments. So it can be slightly off. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do the, our first takeoff. Okay, so. Throttle in. Okay, anticipate right rudder. Engine's in the green. Heels on the ground, right? Yep. Okay. Airspeed alive. 55. Rotate, there you go, it'll come off, lower the nose. And we're gonna go up to 80. Okay, what altitude do we make our left hand turn in? It was uh, 300 below. 300, so we're going to do it at uh, how? 3100 pattern. So, so 36? Be, no, it would be 28. Oh, right? uh, I was thinking of, uh, above our, our 26. Okay, so no 28. And okay, now you're going to. I'm going to be start to toughen up on you here, okay? That's fine. Keep the parameters tight. All right, so you're going to bring the nose up to 80. There you go. And keep our heading, which is good. 45. And then. Okay, then we're coming up to 28. Get ready to make our left hand turn. Yeah. Then trim. So trim is. We're going to have to pull this back. It's too far. And we have to trim this out to 80. You can see how we're dropping. Yep. Okay, so there we go. And we're slowing it down to 80. And we put it back to 2000 again. And it should hold right there. Okay, you got to yep. trim down. Trimming it a little down. There it is. Okay, so altitude is important on the downwind. Okay, ready? We're coming up to yep. the threshold. So up. what's the first thing you're going to do? First thing would be flaps 10. That's right. A little bit more. And? And there. Okay. So ten. flaps 10. And back to the 15. Perfect. Now it goes down to hold it at 80. Notice when you do that, see it keeps it at 80, right? Yep. All right, now we're looking for that 45 degree angle. You tell me when you think you got there. Almost. About there. Start to turn. So it'll be a turn and then about uh, halfway through the turn to uh, you want 20 about 25 to 30 degrees of bank. There you go. Now 10 degrees flaps. Now 10 degrees. Excellent. You're going to roll out at right around 300 degrees. 
Okay, now we're at 70. Lower the nose. And hold it at 300 degrees. 330, rather. Right? Yeah. So. You can set back what you see right there. 330, right? Yep. Oh! Yeah. Okay, hold it. There you go. Looking good. Okay, now at this point, you got to manage the descent. We have absolutely no headwind. So you have to pull the throttle back a little bit more to 13. All right, so I should turn to final. And what we do on final is we want to turn to the center line, not to the numbers. Okay. All right, so the center line, you can see where the chevron is, right? Yes. The point, that is the extended center line. So you want to turn to that and pull the power all the way off, 100%. There you go. And let's keep it on line. Now see what a difference with the headwind makes? Yeah. The other one, we'll be going down. Now we're going to be halfway down the runway before we touch. Yep. Hold it at 70. Let's say get on the center line. Now see how that uh, thresh, the uh, captain's bar there is staying the same distance? Yep. And your airspace staying the same, right? All right, now transfer your eyes down the runway. And just now let us, let us settle in. There you go. Now hold it off. Now I'm going to help you on this one, okay? See I'm holding it off more and more? Yep. And see how it's soft we touch? Okay, that's what we want to do. Put it on, flaps up. Flaps up and full power. Yep, full power on the center line. 55, rotate. 55. Okay, after we're off, start lowering the nose. And we get to 80. And hold it there at 80. 80. Holding it right at 31. Looking good, okay? Cool. Okay, right just a little bit. There you go. Right on the money. We don't care about the airspeed. Because it'll keep it if we do yeah. all of that? Yeah, it, it should. It'll it eventually come in. It just takes time. Okay, and nose up a little bit. Nose up. There you go. Nose up. Nose up. Okay, now we're coming to the threshold. What do we do? Threshold will be 10 degrees of flaps. That's right, and? And uh, back to 15. Okay, okay. 10 degrees so now. 10 degrees. And power then back power to 15. 15. Let's go down to 14 because we have no wind. Okay. Okay, hey, nose down, hold it at 80, and get your 45 degree. Up there. And yeah, we're traveling for Rocket Delta, turning left base for runway 24. We're right touching go, south base traffic. And then another 10 of flaps. Huh? So hold it at 70, we're going to turn all the way to 330. Edwards traffic, arrow 6, taxi from the Aero Club for departure runway 24. Okay, it's just 3.30 because you're a little, you oh. a little bit more, okay? There you go. All right, excellent. We're coming down. All right. Now it's turn to turn, turn to, start to turn to final. final. And start backing off in the power because remember we have no wind. Edwards traffic, for Rocket Delta. Now turning final, south base 2-4. That you go. Back, there you go. On the center line. But your job on final then is to keep it on the center line. Okay, pull it down. Just keep, that's it. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Everything's looking good. Keep it coming down. Keep it coming down. Okay, now transfer your eyes down the runway. Transfer right. down. Okay, and now you pick up the peripheral. Hold it on the center line. There you go. Now flat. Now hold it off. Start to hold it off. See how I'm holding it off? Yep. And I'm still continuing to hold it off. So you want the nose high. And touch down as, as slow as possible. Slow as possible. Flaps up. So flaps up. Yep. Full power. Yep. There's 55. Throttle back just a little bit. There you go. And keep it right at 3100. And for traffic for Rocket Delta downwind, uh, touch and go. Left traffic for 24 South Base. It's like 19 because of the high pressure. 19 is a better choice for the RPMs today. 
Okay, left about three degrees. There you go. See how long it takes to, to bleed down the speed? Okay, go ahead and put the uh, flaps down. Flap. One flaps down to 15. 14 uh, today. There you go. Nose down, hold it at 80, get your 45 degree angle. Nose down, nose down. And 45. Okay, another 10 degrees of flaps. Every traffic for Rekka Delta, now turning base for touch and go on runway 24. Okay, keep the nose down to 70, there you go. Notice that you have to push the nose down on the turns, right? Yep. Right. It, wants to, it wants to climb back up. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we're going to do 300, 330. A little more. Okay. Nose down to 70. Okay, good. You caught it. So yep. you're pulling your power back because you knew you were too high. And it was traffic. Uh, for Rick and Delta now turning left to final for 2 4 south base. Okay, good. Now pick out something and keep the distance. The same all the way down. I see the 2-4 or the whatever yep. whatever you pick. Okay, and that'll hold your airspeed. Yeah, no down, no down. Okay, now let's look down the runway and settle in. Okay, now I'm going to let you start to pull back. Now hold it. Pull back, pull back. All right, see? We're touching little, down. Yeah, a little bit. Flat. Okay. A little bit uh, more yeah. hold. Yeah, i got to start flaring a little bit. Up. Flaps up, full power. Okay, after a couple of more times, then I want you to start announcing, and then we'll start doing our slips, you know, which is your favorite. Every like traffic, Aero 6 taking the runway, 2-4 for departure, we'll make a... Every traffic, Aero 6 is airborne, turning left crosswind for a left downwind departing to the east. So this is the one you should be staring at. Everything else is preset for you. All right, this looks good. Greg, I think I can make a pilot out of you. Sweet, sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up to the threshold. Yep, coming up. When we get there, it'll be flaps 10 and throttle about 14. Okay. For now. There it is. Flaps down. Down to 14. Looking for 45. Right about there. And another flap. So now this is where you make all your judgment calls. Are we high? Little bit. All right, down we adjust high. our power then. There you go. Hey, hold it at 70. Okay, so what I think you're doing, I think you're actually not at 45. I think you're probably a little bit. A little sooner? Yeah, a little sooner. Yeah. How about a slip? Slip. slip? Yeah. Okay, this way. Alright, either way. Slip. There you go. Keep coming down, keep coming down. Keep coming. Use the ailerons for directional control. Keep the nose down if you don't want to get too slow. There you go. Keep coming down. Slip, slip, slip. Alright, you gotta get the nose down. Alright, there you go. Now we come out of it. Nose down the runway. On the center line. And touch down. Whoop. There you go. Worked right. out well. Nose up. Flaps up. Flaps up. And Full power. Engage.
Engage at back maximum power. At maximum power, warp three. Alright. Okay, well you seem to have a sort of a handle on that, so let's do some slips to landings like we did before. Okay. You want to be a little higher on me? Oh. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, oh. Look you at good, that. you good. <laughs> Still trimmed from like four touch and goes from and, ago. Yeah. So, of course, uh, when you're taking off on normally, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have this trim, right? Yeah. So, uh, but when you come down, this is where, where it's all important. Get the trim out on the downwind so you can let go. All right, looking good. Nose up a bit. Oh, yeah. Flaps, throttle back. Nose down, Eddie. Do it right now so it can be a little, little yeah. high. Okay. Okay, nose up to 50 out of 70, rather. This water is really, um, it, it used to be all the way across here. Yeah. yeah. It's evaporating pretty fast. Okay, let me have the airplane for a okay. second. Okay, the airplane. airplane. Okay, and we're going to wrap it over. And, okay, there you are, sir. Give me a slip. Cool. Okay, put the nose, that's it. Yeah, 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 push that power all the way off. Yep. Okay. Off. And we got full left rudder, is that full? Yep, there oh, there go. it is. There it is, okay, there you go, keep coming down. I'll use the uh, ailerons to keep it on the center line. Coming down, nose down, nose down, there you go, nose down, more. Yeah, all right, hold it right there, hold it right there. All right, okay, now come out of it. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, a little rough. Alright, flaps up. Flaps up. Take off. Hey, let's flip the other way now. Okay. That'll be full right rudder. Now, you don't have to do a, a slip with full rudder each time. Sometimes you just need a little bit, right? So it's up to your judgment as to uh, how much the rudder to Flaps 10. Let's go downwind a little bit more. Okay. Can I put it back to 23? Oh. Yeah, legally in the down. Left. I want to make you a slip a long way. Okay, start your turn. Now we get it. 
nice long slip, right? Turn to the center line. Yeah, mentally pull the center line out. Okay, let's start a slip. This time it's full right rudder. Full right rudder. Right rudder. Let's get that rudder over. And you want to hold it right around 70. Okay. That power off. There you go. You don't want to fight yourself. There you go. Hold it right around there. Yeah. Oh, I like left. Left? Woo! Oh, no, I like right. Woo! <laughs> like, oh, oh. Right. There you go. All right, let's use the... Uh, are you around for centering? Are you coming down? Are you coming down? Yeah. Good. 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 Ah, hold it off, guys, down the runway. Hold it off. Hold more, more. Okay, now you're, everyone does this, but they're all, you're all a little high. That was a little high, like, as and in... You, when, when you get into ground effect, you oh. think you're higher than, you think yeah. you're lower than you really are. Yep, and you get used to the, what it looks like on the ground. Yeah, that's it. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go all the way down the runway. I'm going to take the power. Okay. And I'll say I have the power, and I want you to go down the runway, keep it on the center line, okay? And keep it into ground effect as low as you think, without touching. Okay. That way I can tell what you're thinking. Look at that. Settled hey, right yeah, in. Yeah, see how that settles right in? Okay, we're a little close. Let's come out a little bit. Okay, is that 30 degrees down? Yep. Okay, let's go downwind. I've even had students mark on the on the strut where, uh, you know, you look out down the strut and oh. see where it is. Okay, now we're going to be 65. And we're traffic for Rucka Delta, downwind, uh, south face 2-4. Okay, nose up to snare. Okay, coming to the threshold. Threshold there, and... 10 degrees of flaps. Power down. And power to 15. 14. Yeah. Close down to hold the 80. There you go. You want to do a long final this time again? Or we're just going to do the. Yeah, we're going to do normal landing. Okay. Right? Make your left hand turn and uh, another 10 to flaps. Hold it at 70. Oh, okay, I've got the power, you've got the rest of the airplane. Okay, you got what, the power? Yeah, you, what you can do is put your right hand on your lap. Okay. Because you want to simulate that hand holding on to it, right? All right, start to turn. Hold it at 70. because the threshold and the distance stays the same all yep. the way down, okay? Good. I want you to get round out in ground effect and I'm going to add power. And you're going to go right down the center line, okay? Okay. Without touching. Okay, let's go in. I oh, see you were too high. Yeah. Right, there you go. Now flatten out. All the center line. Uh, What happens with that is slowly eating up the energy, so I have to continually add more yeah. and then more power, right? Hold it on the center line. Hold it on the center line. There you go, looking good. And you can use a rudder, see how I'm using it? See how you can use a rudder like that? Okay. Right?
your airplane. Back up. And, and for... Okay, there's 31, bring the nose up. Nose up. Sometimes what I do is I say, okay, that's 65. And look out the window and I go, oh, that's what I have to aim for. Yep, that little, yes. little nook. Now you're going to be adding power, I'll tell you when. Keep going down, keep, go, keep that nose down. Okay, now transfer your eyes down the, down the runway. Okay, now let it settle in. Now add and start adding power. There you go. One more. Okay, now hold it on the center line all the way down. Don't let it touch. Add a little power, add a little power. Okay, you're slowly eating up the energy from the higher angle of attack. That looks good. A little more power. There you go. On the center. So is that helpful for you to keep your eyes down the runway? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a go around now. Going around. Yep. Delta downwind uh, south base two four touch and go. See that radio is better. These radios are better than this. It's a real hissy looking radio here. Yeah. That's why I use these when I fly someplace. I use uh, Sport and uh, and uh, Joshua here because I'm talking to them all the time and I want the better radio. Okay, looking good. The altitude is right on the spot. show you another technique and that's watching the altimeter okay all right let's start to turn so what is the altitude of the airport 
2311. 2311, so if you had 500 to it, what would it be? 2811. All right. All right, so we're going to go down to 400 feet above the runway before we make our uh, touchdown. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 27, right? Yep. All right, we're going to hold it down. Hold it down yeah. to 27. I'm going to show you the 27. Ready? All right, so there's the 27, right? And now we start our turn, right? Hold it up to 70. Nice view. Nice view. There you go. So about 400 feet, you should be about 400 feet above the ground, above the airport elevation when you make your final. See how it works out really well. Yep, worked out very well. Okay, we're coming in, we're coming in. No, okay, eyes down. There you go. Eyes down the runway. Now settle in. Settle in. Keep your eyes down the runway. And now we use that. Slowly bring the nose up. There you go, slow up more, more. See how flat we're landing? Yeah. Can't have that. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and go around. And my heading. All right, now I'm gonna go 66, 65, looks good. I think I need a little more back pressure. There you go. There it is. Look okay. at her go. Okay, now I'm going to do the one landing, and this this is this is what my criteria is. Okay. okay. All right. Now sometimes it's going to be at 18 or not at 20. Usually it's at 2,000 RPM and it works out real well. Okay. So I don't really have to do too much. Just sit nope. here and wait. Just wait. You got some cards or something? Yeah. Play? <laughs> go fish. <laughs> okay. We got all, so then, then we're downwind, right? Okay, and then we're, uh, I, I took about five degrees and we too far, so I'm going back out with the correction. Okay, so now here, we're going to do just like you do, right? Ten, Ten degrees of flaps. Ten degrees. A little, a little forward. Okay, and right about there. Right about Ten there. degrees and 14. So I can do it real quick. And that nose down to 80, and that holds at 80. There you go. 500 feet a minute. Looks good. Now we're 100 feet below pattern altitude here. Okay? So I'm gonna, we should actually be going down almost 200 before the 45. Okay. Now we start our turn. Add another 10 degrees of flaps. And now we're going to make it 70. Don't have to see how it's yep. sort of balanced out. I don't have to, to do a squat. Keep right? going. Ah, they don't, I don't even need to be here, right? Nope. Okay, so then I roll out at, at 300, bring the nose back up so I don't increase my airspeed. Okay, and bring that back like that. Okay, I'm going to keep it at 20. Okay. Okay, now I want to pick out that center line, right? Yep. I'm going to come out here, over the nose, hold it at 70. I'm going to aim right for that center line right there and then straighten it out. Hold 70. All right, now you go right on the center line. Now, I'm concentrating on keeping this thing on the center line. Right? And now hold it right there. And see how that 2-4 is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger? Yep. Right? And I, all right, now, now I'm going to get my start my eyes down the runway. See how nice and slow I do the round out? You can hardly notice it, right? Okay, the power is all the way off, and now I have to concentrate on keeping it on the center. And see how the nose is coming up higher and higher? Yep. See, higher, higher, higher. <laughs> it is your airplane, young man. Uh-huh. Full power. Full power. Keep it on center. Yeah, that's 55. Yeah. Okay, when we go out next time, we're going to do emergencies. Okay. So we're going to do a run down the runway, and then we're going to have an uh, engine out, and we're going to stop. Okay, we're okay. only going to be about 10 feet, 15 feet off the ground. Then we're going to go 100 feet. It stays right there. I can't do any better than that. <laughs> yeah, just uh, occupying the yoke, not even using it. <laughs>
though the last, the hardest part of learning how to land is that last eight seconds, right? It's that continuity to flare, right? Yep. And not too much, because if you go too much, then you, go, and then you over, out. start overcorrecting. That's it. And then it's over with. Okay, now let's start using our altimeter, right? We want to go approximately 200 feet below pattern. Okay, right? cut, cut the right there, and quickly pull it back to 14. Okay, put right, the nose down. Hold it, and we're going to go 200 feet below pattern. Okay, go ahead and start your turn. Now to bring the nose up to 70. Another 10 degrees of flaps. Nose up. There you go. Nose up. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to be right on target. See, look at that. 700 is going to start your turn to final. Go. Oh, and... And there's 700 right on the money. Yeah. Okay, now nice slow turn. Bring the throttle back. Throttle back, there you go. Okay, your job is to keep it on the center line now and keep that vision, whatever you're looking at. Third stripe down, fourth stripe down, whatever, keep it the same distance. On the center line. Start, transfer your eyes down the runway. Okay, now just now start to hold it off. Just there it is. Hold it, and that's it. A little more, a little more, a little more. Hold it right there. A little more. All right, you're getting better. I'm better. Uh, progress. Yeah, you're making progress. Flaps up. Go. Getting used to the, because when you, if you let go, it'll, it'll continue letting go, because you have to keep on pulling forward on it. Yeah. So you gotta, and I know to, just a tad bit of pressure release. Yeah, I guess it's very, very subtle. That's why it's important to trim the aircraft because if you're trying to make just like a few ounces of pressure yeah. and you're only holding three pounds, how are you going to get three pounds? There you go. Okay, lower, if you go lower, you'll go left. If you go higher, you go right. So we want to go to the right because we want a higher number, right? up now to 70. Traffic park at Delta Final 24 to let you go. Okay, now just hold it right there. See how that works out? Yeah. No. Really looks good. Really looks good. Now with the winds, it'll if if, if you um, have a headwind, then you're going to have to increase the uh, or make the turn sooner. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, look down the runway. Let's settle in. Use our rudders and the ailerons to keep it centered. Let it settle in. There you go. Settle in. Okay, now just kind of hold it off. Hold it off more. Hi. Okay. You want to come up really, really high. All right. Oh, you, you 
you got we got to use our rudders you're not using okay. you're, you're flaring and you're using this but you're not using yeah. your rudders okay let's go around one more time and then we'll call it call it a day i gotta put in the extra axis yeah because you know when you're flying normally it just takes a little bit right yeah. turn but when you're going slow there's not the air isn't going over the rudder as fast so it takes a lot more uh, aileron and rudder they do the same darn thing yep gonna take some getting used to that and then you have to know because if you do the rudder the uh you'll you'll start to dip that way and you need to put an opposite aileron that's right and then you start to dip that way and then you kind of uh nose down a little bit that way so you need to put a little bit up i can't wait that's the money yeah Traffic for Oka Delta downwind for full stop on runway 24 South Base. So next time we're going to add in the uh, the uh, call for radio calls too. I know this is overwhelming sometimes. So. Okay, so this time let's use your rudder. Okay. Riverside Radio, listening 122.4 uh, Rand. Riverside Radio, listening 122.4 Fran Mountain. 
November 104 Echo Delta. Come on, you guys, get off the stick. Now, when you press the button, you can always tell whether you transmit because you'll have a T up there. Okay. Give her another try. Riverside Radio, listening 122.4. Uh, November 104, Echo Delta. See? Yep, transmitting. Right. Yep, yep. It'll be an R when they come back. Must be busy. Let's go ahead and ta we'll taxi, and then uh, how will you do on the fuel? Okay. Calling Riverside Radio 122.4, stand by your number two, break, Mammoth, uh, correction, uh, Horizon 343, Riverside Radio, have your clearance, by is ready to copy. Do I say November 4? No. ATC clears Horizon 343 from the Mammoth Airport, the Los Angeles International Airport, via Nickel 1 departure as filed. Climb and maintain 16,000, expect higher 10 minutes after departure. Squawk 1732. Departure frequency will be Oakland Center 125.75. Clearance void if not off by 1820. If not off by 1820, call me. Advise of your intentions no later than 1825. Time now 1809. -er. Okay, so he's doing the readback now. That's why we can't hear him. Okay. He's on a different frequency then. Something on the taxiway, gonna go over here. Horizon 343, if you're not off by 1820, call me no later than 1825. Other than that, read back, correct, have a good day. Aircraft calling Riverside Radio 122.4, say again. W would like to close my flight plan November 104, Echo Delta. November 104, Echo Delta. Riverside Radio flight plane closed, and uh, the reason I didn't answer you is I was getting a clearance, sir. Give me a little bit of time if uh, I don't answer you right away. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Thank you. Have a good day. November 104. Hey, he's under stress. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't answer you right away. Don't, 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 don't give me a bad time. We actually parked in his. You want to go back in that one? No. Okay. These things are not assigned. Okay. Uh, shut down, ELT is good, avionics master switch off. 